Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be monthly favourites. I'll be showing you some of the new items that I purchased in January and that I've been loving. I'll show you some other accessories, clothes, products, uh, makeup. So if you're interested, keep watching. Alright, I actually have a list on my phone, so I'm gonna follow the list. I'm not gonna start like categories like I normally do it, like fashion, then makeup, then whatever. I will actually mix it up a little bit and I will start with... Oh no, the brooch is missing. I normally pin my Gucci brooch on this. It looks better with the pin on, but um, yeah, this is the coat it's like a poncho that i got from all saints i really hope this is still available i think this one went on sale i'm pretty sure that i've uh, linked it on my instagram when i showed you this on my instagram i wore it a few times it is sleeveless i actually wore this uh, poncho um until like mid january and then i stopped because it got really cold it is very neutral so it goes with everything i love the oversized look i got mine in small extra small small it's not super warm so it's not for the very cold weather but i think it looks awesome especially with an all black outfit i think it elevates the look and it just breaks it up a little bit because of the colors um, but it looks very sophisticated and very cool, very fashionable, so I really love it. It has pockets as well, and yeah. <laughs> right, next I have a trench coat. Bear in mind, this is covered in lint. <laughs> I, I had to uh, use the lint roller before I show you this. Hopefully the hair won't show. This is a trench. You can't really see it. I'll try it on and I'll show you it better. I got this trench from Under the Stories, my favorite Under the Stories. It is such a good quality. It looks like a high-end trench. It is stunning. I love the fit. It's very heavy and it falls really nice. It fits amazing. I got mine in size, let me double check. I think I got mine in size yeah, 36. So I went a size down for a more fitted look. It's the perfect length. Some trench coats on me can look a bit short. Um, so this is the perfect length for reference. I'm UK size 10 and I'm 171 centimeters tall. It looks very expensive when you put it on because of the velvety material. It looks stunning. It's like a, it's like a corduroy actually <laughs> material. I can't explain it, but it's very dark black and it looks stunning. It looks very smart. You can wear it more casual. I've worn it so many times uh, since I bought it. I think I bought it in December. It wasn't that cold yet, so I managed so you wear it so many times. I wore it with very, very thick oversized jumpers. And because this is not that fitted, I actually could have gone a size, like two sizes down. Um, but I got 36 so I can wear it with thick jumpers. And I've worn it with oversized jumpers, Ronix, and it fits amazing. Doesn't make me look big. It is a stunning, perfect fit. And for high street trench coat, I think this is amazing. Next, I actually have a makeup product and this is the Huda Beauty concealer. I'm wearing the concealer now. I got mine in color Mering 04N. I guess that's neutral. It's quite thick. It blends very well. It doesn't crease and it's very, very high coverage concealer, which I love. It's very creamy and I really like it. Um, so I do recommend it. I still apply my uh, NARS creamy pot concealer in the pots um, on top of it but uh, that's when I film videos for more high coverage or when I'm attending events. For like every day I can only use this without anything on top of it without mixing it with other concealers. It has a really nice applicator as well like cooling metal applicator. Next is another Huda Beauty product and it's this mini palette that I also showed you in one of my videos. I think it might have been a vlog, I did my makeup using this palette. As you can see, this palette 
has been used and abused. <laughs> I got this beginning of January. I got one as a present for my friend Laura and I really liked it and I decided to purchase one for myself as well. I really like these mini palettes. They're very compact, easy to carry with you. They have a mirror which is awesome. I always like a palette with compact palette with a mirror on it. Mine is quite dirty so I have to clean mine. The eyeshadows are so pigmented and they blend so easy. So even if you're a beginner and you can't really do your makeup, if you get a big fluffy blush, blush, <laughs> brush, <laughs> I'm sure you'd be able to do a really nice smoky eye. It's so easy to blend and use. And the colors are beautiful as well. And yeah, they're very warm and I love how pigmented and shiny the sparkly ones are as well. I use them, I pack them with my fingers on my lids and they are amazing. My next most favorite knitwear <laughs> for uh, January has to be this dress that I'm wearing. This is actually a long dress. I wore this so many times. It is a dress from ASOS and I really hope this is not sold out already. It is so soft, it is super warm and every time I wear it, I've been getting so many compliments. It looks like more hair, but it's not more hair. It's very soft knit. Um, I think it's acrylic. Um, you can check online, but when I first got it and like unwrapped it, it was so static. Do you know that noise, that like the static noise? It was horrible. However, I really, really liked the fit of the dress. I love the look, the color is amazing. And I thought I can wear it so many times with so many different outfits. It will look really cool with sneakers. And I really wanted to do something and be able to wear it. So I started reading online how to get rid of static <laughs> on clothes and I, sprayed it with conditioner. I mixed conditioner and water um, in like a bottle with a sprayer and I sprayed it and now it's fine. It's not static anymore. Um, conditioner I'm talking about like fabric softener. <laughs> Sorry if I'm confusing you. I used fabric softener. So yeah, this is the dress. Now it's fine, but bear in mind when you take it out of the bag, of the plastic bag, it's very static, but um, you can fix that with uh, softener, fabric softener. <laughs> My next huge favorite for January were these Gucci tights, which you can't really see right now, but I'll try them on or I'll include pictures. I've already worn these a couple of times and they look so awesome. I really wish I got mine in a smaller size. I am gonna order another pair. I love them so much. The ones that I have are in size large and they're very big. I actually have to wear spanks <laughs> underneath so I can keep them in place. Otherwise they keep like, sliding down and uh, it's not very comfy you know when your tights are sliding down your legs I hate that feeling but I really wanted to wear them because you can't return tights uh, for hygienic reasons so I kept these and I wear them with like spanks I'm gonna order another pair in a medium or even a small because the large ones are very very big Despite that, I absolutely love the tights. I think they're really good quality. I even washed them once, hand washed them, and they still look fine. Um, so I think they're really cool. I know they're very expensive. I mean, tights for 100 pounds, it is a lot of money, but they're Gucci. And they make your outfits look so cool. You can wear them with leather skirts. I will show you how I wore them with an oversized cardigan. All right, another huge, huge favorite is this. <laughs> this is the L'Occitane serum that I mentioned in my Paris vlog. Someone actually um, commented, some of you even messaged me to ask because I completely forgot to show you it in my vlog. I did mention that there is a serum by L'Occitane that I love. I'm in love with this little serum. Well, it's little because I have the little um, sample thingy, but I did order the full size. So I had a few of these and I started using it. One of these lasts for a very long time. It's not oily or anything. It is actually, it feels really nice when you apply it on the skin. When I wake up in the morning, my skin feels amazing. I even apply this under my eyes and I do think it makes a difference. I don't have tired eyes. My skin feels amazing, very smooth. I have definitely noticed a difference. I've been using these because I had a few as I mentioned and um, I've been using these for probably two months now. Yeah, I did have a few um, of these and these lasted 
quite a long time uh, so now I have only this one which is like half this is the best serum well one of the best serums that I've tried I'm really enjoying this one and I highly recommend it so yeah I did want to mention this because I forgot in my Paris vlog um, Unfortunately, I don't have the full size to show you because it didn't arrive. I thought it might arrive today, but not here yet. <laughs> right, my next favorite is this Under the Stories uh, jumper that I tried to show you in uh, like a few vlogs, I think, like two or three vlogs. I didn't show you this jumper properly, so now I'll finally film the cutaways and you'll see how beautiful this jumper is. It's from my favorite Under the Stories. I got mine in size medium. And it's in this gorgeous brown color. It has puffy sleeves. I really love the fit and I love the color as well. I wanted to wear this with my Fendi poncho. So I was looking for a brown um, jumper and I found this one. I did wear it with the poncho in one of the vlogs, but you couldn't see it from the poncho. It is still in stock, which is great. So I'll link it for you. You would be able to buy it. I think it comes in other colors as well. I think it might come in beige and um, grey, but I'm not sure. I'll link it down below, so I'll do you check out the description box. Right, uh, one of my, um, I think I have two more favourites, <laughs> uh, is this Fendi scarf. And you will probably say, Maria, this is a silk scarf. It's winter, it's really cold, at least here in the UK. <laughs> uh, but I did wear this with uh, high necks and cashmere jumpers underneath. I wore this throughout January quite a lot. I saw some of these on um, a Farfetch and on other websites, so I'll link them down below. You asked me before, I've had this scarf for a while and Fendi didn't do anything similar. They didn't have it in this print, which I love so much, the Zucker prints. And now I found some online and I wanted to uh, show the scarf and tell you where you can find them. It is not warm. This won't keep you warm because it's a silky scarf. The ones that I will link are also silky scarves. But as I mentioned, I wear it with a raw neck, like high necks under it, uh, with thick jumpers. And I love wearing this with my peekaboo. I've worn it a lot throughout January with the peekaboo <laughs> and the defender. And the sneakers as well, it matches perfectly. So yeah, this has been a huge favorite. Next, I have a hair product. This is almost empty. Oh my god, is it empty? No, it's not. It's almost empty. It smells so nice. This is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. This was a gift, a Christmas gift. Laura um, gave me a set um, with Living Proof uh, products because I've never tried Living Proof and I wanted to try some products. Well, I didn't like every single one but I really liked this hair mask. It's a really nice nourishing hair mask and I apply a lot of it, like a lot of it. <laughs> I literally scoop out half of this and apply it <laughs> on the length of my hair. And it makes my hair really nice, um, so I do like it. And it smells so nice after you wash your hair and dry it, you can smell this for days, like two days after I've washed my hair, I can still smell the hair mask. It has a really nice scent, very pleasant. Um, so I really like it. I will repurchase the bigger size. This one is 28 grams. So this is the mini size, like the travel size that came in the gift set. I do really like gift sets with miniature products because you get to try a few of them instead of buying the full size ones. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this mask is really nice. I really enjoy it. All right, everyone, that's all I really hope. Ooh. No, I forgot something. Oops. I forgot the hair clip. How can I forget the hair clip? That's because I'm wearing it. It's not here next to me, so I can grab it and show it to you. It's on my hair. This is like my favorite purchase in January. Like, how can I not show you this? <laughs> I already showed you this in my previous video that I uploaded with my Gucci unboxings. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it down below or you can also click here and um, watch it. All right, everyone, these are all my favorites for January. Some of them I bought in December. Uh, and these are all my favorite products and fashion items and clothes that I've worn throughout January. 
January and I would love to hear what are your favorite products and purchases uh, for January. Do you have any new favorites? I'd love to see what you can recommend and maybe I'll try it as well. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hello to all my new subscribers. <laughs> you can come follow me on my social media platforms which you can see here. Um, on the screen you can see my Instagram with my feeds where I upload after the day pictures. So if you're interested you can come follow me on my Instagram for fashion inspo. <laughs> Thank you so so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one hopefully. Bye!